That is heavy. Hello everyone and welcome here. I'm Heather aka Hey Hey Crochet and in today's video I'm going to be showing you everything I've made in the last three months which is a lot. So I guess we'll just get right into it. I don't really remember the order of all of these things. I'll just just pick them up and show them in. Yeah. Also, I'm sitting on my floor because it's like the only place with like pretty good lighting. I'm planning on transforming this corner sometime in the future probably to put a little chair over there and like have my own little corner instead of like always just working on my bed to behind behind you. That might be something in the future I do. I don't know. Well, I think this is the first thing I finished this year like very early January and it is one of my most favorite items I've ever made. It is also the first time I've ever worked with anything other than cotton or acrylic and it is this, it's called the Balloon Jumper by Mermaid's Yarns. I will link, if I followed a pattern or my pattern for one of these, I'll link them down below so you can find them. Um, but this is by Mermaid's Yarns and like everything is kind of wrinkly and not I don't store my Items the best because I don't currently really have a place to put them. I used to put them in our guest room But then my brother moved in with us. So Everything is just kind of like piled up in baskets and stuff. It is just oh, It's so pretty and it's made with the drops yarn called brushed alpaca silk and I've already made like three other things with that yarn it's like my favorite right now and then next I'm pretty sure the, ne the next thing I finished was Hal's jacket from Hal's Moving Castle and it is also like one of my most favorite things I ever made okay I actually started this like in June of last year, like before I even had Hey Hey Crochet or anything. And I was just doing it for fun. One of the many times I was watching House Moving Castle, I saw House Jacket and I was like, I'm gonna try to make that. And then fast forward to like, maybe like late summer, um, someone, I'm pretty sure her name is Nella. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm not even gonna try to say her like, Instagram handle but I will link her down below she's so wonderful she's so sweet she saw me um, making the panels and then she emailed me and she has a pattern for this and it's called the Starboy pattern the pattern is like one of the most well done patterns I've ever seen like all the information she gives in it and everything is just amazing and beautiful so I used a lot of those instructions to finish my jacket off but she has a pattern and it's beautiful like my pride and joy and it's I love it I love it feel like I made more things in January but I don't know where they are or if I'm just crazy anywho I made this out of some leftover like Bernat blanket yarn and I made it for my if I take my laptop or my iPad on the go to like give it some extra protection because I don't have like a case for them so I just throw it in this and then in a tote bag or my backpack and it works pretty good a few people have asked for a pattern for it but I don't know if it's I mean it's so simple like I don't pretty easy to figure out but if you guys do want a pattern I can make one out of the leftover yarn I had from the, the balloon jumper I made this top using made in the moments Emma's um, pattern she has it for free on her Kofi Kofi and YouTube and it's so cute but like I made the steps too long so I like I didn't want to take it all out because this yarn is so hard to take out and take forever. So I just sewed it down. So that's actually the back end. I'm supposed to see that part. And then this is it. It's so cute. I love it. And then I started this, I think, like mid January. I didn't finish till um, mid February, probably. And it's like my first chunky sweater. 
I came up with a pattern. I don't have a pattern for this, but I might make one. I use the lemon peel stitch because I'm like obsessed with it right now. And like it came out pretty cute. And then I think I crocheted this in January. And it's my checkerboard cookie vest pattern. I'm thinking about calling it not the cookie vest because it I did base it off a cookie and I think it looks pretty similar. But like no one ever calls it that. I don't even call it that. So I might take that part out. But that's the inspiration for this thing. And I love him. I love him so much. He's so cute. I made this baby for Valentine's Day. And uh, I have a vest. I have a pattern for that vest here on my YouTube and my blog. And I also have a pattern for this on my blog. I have this vest on my YouTube, but not the heart version. That's only on my blog. So you can find that there. And I've made it double sided. I love it. She's so cute. Girl, I made this like the very beginning of March, I think. And it's made out of that same yarn as the balloon jumper, the drop cell pack of silk. I love it so much. I love the feel of it. And it's, in my opinion, it's not scratchy. I know a lot of people think that and they ask me that and I don't think it is. The only thing when I first worked with it and first put it on like around my chest felt like a little scratchy but then it was like the first time I ever tried it on and I never felt that way again. So I don't think you really have to worry about it unless you have like very sensitive skin. But I have pretty sensitive skin and it doesn't bother me. So I guess it just depends. But I used my same checkerboard cookie pattern and but I made a few alterations and I updated my blog post for instructions on how to make this version if you want to and I cannot wait to wear it it's still pretty cold here but I'm waiting for it to warm up so I can wear it and then these two sweaters I made I originally wasn't going to make a pattern for this I just made it because I was like, oh, that I was going to Florida and to Disney World. So I was like, oh, I want to make something fun. But I didn't want to go out and buy more yarn. So I just used a bunch of scraps. And then a lot of you loved it. So I made a pattern and it's now on my YouTube and blog. And yeah, I love them. They're so fun and so lightweight. This one's perfect for warmer weather. I've already, on the warmer days, like, Set, gets up to seven degrees, 70 degrees sometimes. And I've worn it and it just feels so cool and lightweight and it's great. Then I made this for Florida for my Winnie the Pooh and Friends outfit. I don't like this really at all. <laughs> I made it for the outfit and I got the yarn for like two bucks. I was like, okay, that's a two buck shirt. Like I can make that. But I messed up so much because I did like maybe five rows of it. And then when I packed it to work on it on the way to Florida, I brought the wrong hook. And, and until I was almost done, I didn't realize that I messed up. So I had to rig it so much in the back. And it's a little funky, but I was wearing overalls, so it covered it, so it didn't matter. But yeah, I don't think I look good in red. I solely made it for my Winnie the Pooh outfit. So I don't know what to do if I should frog it. I don't want to sell it. Because it's messed up. So I don't know what to do with this. Maybe if I go back to Disney World, I'll wear the same outfit and that can shine again. I made that and this to go together. And my Winnie the Pooh ears. I love them. I want to make more. Like if I get to go to Disney World again. I was thinking about this kind of looks like if I just change the color right here in the middle, I could make macaroon ones. So that's a good idea. And then another thing I wore in Florida, but I didn't make it for Florida. I made it for like the spring and summer coming. So wrinkly. And I can't wait to wear, but I can't wear her right now because it's still too cold. <laughs> Pardon me. But this is also by... That red top does not have a pattern. I just rigged it together. 
This has a pattern and it's by Mermaid's Yarns again. Same person who made the balloon jumper and I love her patterns. They're so cute. And like, oh, I can't wait to wear this. And then this is a top that I have not made a pattern for. It's going to be my April pattern release. Yeah, I'm super excited to share it. I got inspired by, I've been seeing so many spring dresses with um, like tie tops. And my favorite stitch right now is the lemon peel stitch. I've already made, I made that sweater. I made a balaclava. I didn't like the way it looked on me. So I gave it to my sister, but that's made out of the lemon peel stitch. And then I was like, okay, um, We Are Knitters sent me this yarn. And I was like, okay, let me combine my two favorite things right now is seeing like tie top dresses and tops and then the lemon peel stitch. And then and this is what we got. And it's super easy. You just make one big long rectangle. You can use any stitch for it. I use the lemon peel stitch, but if you don't like that, use half double crochet, double crochet. Something else. Worked up super fast. I used like one and a half skeins of the yarn. I like it. I, uh, I think that's, uh, oh wait, I have one more thing. I made this doily. That is dirty because I was being such a good sister. I made my brother hot chocolate and then he got hot chocolate on my doily. That's how he would please me. Or I don't have a pattern for this, but like, it's kind of wonky, honestly. I didn't do it right. But I mean, I guess there was really no right way. I was just doing it for fun. Uh, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I plan to do these videos like every quarter, like every three months. I can share all the things I've been working on and have made. And I think that's a fun idea. I love seeing like the videos, um, people making, like showing all the stuff they've made previously. I think it's so much fun. And it inspires me to like, oh, wanna create more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell notification if you wanna stay up to date with the patterns I come out with and such. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.